Hi, today we're going to be showing you how to connect two HD boxes to on demand. One through the Ethernet cable and the other two will be wireless. There is two versions of these boxes. There is an older PVR4 version and there is the newer PVR5. The difference between the two boxes, so in case you've got them, is the PVR4 older box has two scout leads whereas the PVR5 only has a single scout lead on the back. So obviously with both of these boxes, they can be connected if your router is near enough to it. You can connect it with straightforward Ethernet connection. On the back of the router, you will find four Ethernet slots. From there, on the back of the Skybox, you'll have two different places on them there. On the older PVR4 box, it's kind of in the middle to the bottom. And on the newer box, it's just above the scout lead at the top there. So those are the two ways you can connect. That's one of the ways you can connect it via the lead. Obviously the other way is to connect it via a wireless bridge. On the older model you will need a powered version which comes with an ethernet cable and on the newer one it has a USB adapter which runs off the power of the box. So for PVR4 older box this is quite straightforward. It comes all in pieces so it allows you a little bridge, mini ethernet cable and a power. Power line will just go into the back of the adapter and that then plugs into your socket the ethernet slot and then goes into the back of the ethernet. From there the ethernet cable then just plugs into the back of the box, sit that on the top, plug that into the power and that is how to connect up the one for the PVR4. On the smaller version on the PVR5, the newer box, it is a lot more simpler. Undo the cable, on the back you've got a mini USB which is quite straightforward for that one to go into there. And then on the back of the PVR5 you will see there's a USB slot which is just there. USB symbol pointing upwards into the back there. And then that is that connected. Once that one is plugged in they will both fire up to say a, US, a little connector has been connected. And we'll take you through that now on the TV. Right, this version is my own setup. This is connected via a wire. So once you've plugged in your router straight into the back of the skybox via the ethernet cable. All you'll need to do is just press the services button and then a zero and then five and it should look like that on the screen where it's connected to the router, on demand connection is okay and everything is there. That is the straightforward, the easiest way to set up any on demand connection. All you would need to do just to make sure it's working is press the TV guide, just go over to catch up, press select on that once you're in there, you should be presented with BBC iPlayer, ITV, 4 On Demand and all the catch-up channels on there. Obviously, that then you just scroll through. As long as you can scroll through and all the boxes change, that means it is connected and is all working and you're ready to go. This connection, I've just disconnected my Ethernet cable out the back of my box and I have now, as you can see on the left-hand side, plugged a little wireless bridge in. As you can currently see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there is only one light lit up on it at the moment. So there's only one light. What we need to get is the wireless connection there done. So for the next part, if you look at the screen now, you will notice it says a wireless connection has been plugged in. It now needs to restart the box. So all you would then do is just press select. The box will then turn off and we restart in the next three or four minutes. Right, as you can see now, my box has restarted. So it just says there, uh, press select to find the network. So all we'll do now is press select on the remote control. And then it will be straight away, it will present you with your network there. What we're going to do, there is obviously different ways to connect it, but we're going to show you the, the straightforward way, which is connect with a password. So all you would do is just come over to the connect with password and press select. As you can see there, it's picked up my router there now. Uh, obviously mine are the top two on there, so from there onwards you would then need to search for your on the back of your router. You will see on the back of your router the name of your router at the top and obviously the password is below it. This is on a, 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 a hub of Sky at the moment, obviously there is different versions, different routers. BT themselves have little cards in the back of them and things for that one, but you just need to find that on your router. Once you've got your router, all you will do, select the one you want to connect it to which will be yours and it will then ask you for your network key. 
From there, you will be then asked to put in your your um, network key. It is case sensitive, so if it is in lower case, you would need to put it in lower case. All you would keep doing is just pressing the button on the remote control, like it standard texting on anything that you would do on your mobile phone. That's how simple it is. So we'll now just input my password. So now we've put the password in, it is now connecting to the network and is asking us just to wait. What the box is doing now is just checking and making sure. So as you can see, it's a slightly different screen on this one. It now tells me it's all connected. What we'll just do there is just press the backup button just so we can see what it looks like. It's connected to the router, it's all there, everything's there and it's got my signal strength as well there. Obviously that will vary depending on how far away your router is to your box. Fortunately my box is right next to my router, so that's why the strength is so good. So from there, all you would need to do then is just press the sky button. It takes you back to the TV and usually as before, just go to the TV guide, go into your catch up. Once in catch up, if you're presented with the box and as you can scroll through and all the different things and it's working, that means you are all connected and ready to go and use on demand.